Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I'm completely barefaced right now. And that is because we are going to be reviewing the Dream Cushion Foundation from Maybelline. It's going to be a first impressions video. I've not touched this foundation at all. But before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social medias. It is Emily underscore Freibler. I would love to have you follow me on there as well. And yeah, let's just get started with this um, review, I guess. All right, to start out, this is obviously the packaging. It's very similar to the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation. It says it is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Fresh, fresh Face. That's a hard word to say. Fresh Face Liquid Foundation on the go. I got mine in 30 Warm Nude. This is going to be my shade when I'm self-tanned because I just tanned last night. And when I picked this up, I was tanned. I probably should have gone to for like 20 or something like that. So, yeah. But anyway, I got... 30 warm nude so this is what it looks like it has a huge mirror right there which I appreciate and then obviously this little thing I with the L'Oreal one I did not like this at all I might try it out briefly but uh, I don't know and then okay so then it just has this little cover thing that you pop open and then you have the foundation right there and it's the cushion and you just press it down and obviously get your product. I don't know what the coverage or the finish of this foundation is supposed to be. It doesn't say on the back. I don't know what it is. I guess we'll see kind of the finish. I'll let you guys know what I think it is. I guess I will use that little applicator just to see how the coverage is, but I also want to use a brush and I also want to use a sponge because sponges are usually how I apply my foundation or at least if I use a brush, which I do sometimes, some foundations are better with a brush, then I go back and I pat it in so it really sinks into the skin and there's no brush marks. All right, so now that you're nice and close, I'm going to start applying. So I'm just gonna take the little sponge thing and just dip it in there. A lot of product comes out. I did know that because I did dip my finger in at least um, once. So we're gonna start over here where I have the most pigmentation and everything. So, mm. I can tell I already don't like it. <laughs> like, don't like the applicator. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I can't use this. It just feels weird. Doesn't look like it's sinking into the skin very well. You guys might like it, but I'm not using it. So I'm going to use the sponge on this side, and then on the other side, I'll use a brush. So same thing. I'm just going to dip it in there. A lot of product came out on there. And we're just going to, wow, look at all that product. Already more product came out on the sponge. Wow. Oh my gosh. Guess I didn't need to press that hard. The coverage is looking very nice so far. Finish is very glowy right now. I don't know if you guys can tell it's very like wet. I don't know if it's going to dry down or anything like that, but I guess we'll wait and see. The color looks amazing compared to my skin like that's a really good match so I think the coverage is like almost full like I barely had to go over this and usually I have to at least go over this part one more time I might just put a tiny bit more product on my sponge and go over my hyperpigmentation but yeah I definitely think it's probably full coverage with a sponge which is really good the L'Oreal one I didn't like because it didn't have very much coverage so oh my gosh look at how much Oh my gosh, so much product. This is already so much better than the L'Oreal one. Oh my gosh, so much product. So much coverage too, look at that. It's definitely streaky right now with the brush. Um, I feel like you get the same amount of coverage either way. I definitely prefer a sponge. Um, I just think it sinks into the skin better. It doesn't go any lines or anything um, because it is so liquidy even though it is in the sponge. Wow, that coverage though. Holy crap a lot. Oh, yes, I love it so far. We'll have to see obviously how it wears throughout the day and if it's super dewy or not because I do have combination skin. Wow. I'm very impressed. That coverage is insane. It's honestly very dewy. I know you guys can see that. It's just glowy all around. 
Now we're going to use some concealer. I think I'm going to use the Sephora concealer in Custard. This is the Bright Feature concealer. Love this stuff. So we're just going to dot. I heard in Luster Luxe's video, her best of beauty or whatever, she loves this concealer. And I heard they got a new applicator. So I almost want to go pick that up, even this one, even though this one is not out yet. I just hate the dotting applicator. It's awful. This is the L'Oreal new sponge. It's for concealer and I've been loving it. I do have a review on this product and the Total Cover Foundation up on my channel. So go check that out. Okay, now I'm just going to use my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder um, just to set the concealer and my entire face. I am baking like I always do, so, or not always, but I've been doing it a lot lately. And yes, baking does help with oil control, but I do this all the time with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, so I know how that one wears throughout the day, so it'll, I'll still be able to tell how this one wears throughout the day, if that makes sense. I hope so. Alright, so this is what it looks like when all the powder has been dusted off. I think it looks super nice. It's not like I don't have foundation on. You can definitely tell I have foundation on, but it covered so, so well. And I can, I mean, I can feel it on my skin, but it's not super heavy or anything like that. So, so far, I really like it. I do think it looks pretty natural for being so full covered. So, yeah, um, I will be back once I have all of the makeup on my face just so you can see it when with all the makeup done and everything like that I'm really liking it so far and I will check back in when I have all my makeup done all right guys so I have my makeup done right now so yeah this is the look that I came up with I think the foundation looks amazing I seriously love it so much it's so weird because it has such great coverage but it looks pretty natural I think on the skin it's more of a natural finish once I set it and um you know put powder down and everything so we'll see how it wears throughout the day but it just looks like a very natural semi matte finish it's not dewy once I set it so hopefully it doesn't get super dewy throughout the day because I don't personally like that um if you have dry skin you might like it too because it is dewy when you first you know put it on your face so if you didn't use such a mattifying powder like the Cody Airspun one then it might even be perfect for that skin tone not skin tone skin type if this is good for all skin types and that is definitely a score so, so I will see you guys in multiple hours it is currently 2 45 p.m. so I'll check back in like a, a long time yeah so bye guys Hey guys, so it is now 9.52 p.m. I've had this makeup on for about eight hours, a little less than eight hours. So I have an opinion about this foundation. My skin is a little bit oily, but I am I do have combination skin. So as you can tell, the normal areas are totally fine. So I do think people with oily combination skin will like this foundation because it's been so long and I have not powdered at all. If it was more of a luminous foundation, I would have to powder a lot more often throughout the day. So that's really good. But I also think it would be really good for dry skin as well because it was so luminous when I first put the foundation on. So if you have really dry skin, using not as much of a mattifying powder would probably be good too. It hasn't like broken up at all around my chin or anything. Um, so I honestly really love it. I love the natural finish of the foundation when I do set it with powder and everything. It stayed really well. All of my other makeup on top of it has looked really good. And yeah, so I definitely would pick up this foundation. I know it is like $15.99, but I do think it is worth it. I love this foundation. I'm going to continue to wear it, and I think you should definitely go try it for yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching my first impression video, and I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye.